We are joined this morning by the amazing Cranzo. He's a local magician. He is from Flushing, Michigan. And uh, Nathan, welcome back. Thanks so much for having me. It's good to be back. You're a father of two, right? I am. I have a daughter and a son. They well, just started school, so I'm... Today? Well, they, they uh, started last week. They had a, a couple days last week, and they come back today, so it's harder for me than it is for them, I think. Got to be happy about that. Yeah. Take me back to when you were in school, that you went to Flushing High School, I did, right? yep. Did you think, you know what, did you tell your parents, I want to be a magician, Dad. <laughs> I want to I wanna be a magician. I, I didn't right away. Um, I said I wanted to go to school and, you know, I went to art school. I went to Pittsburgh, the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. That's yeah. where I went to college. Yeah. Uh, and while I was there, I worked at a magic shop and that's where I really immersed myself in the art and kind of decided, okay, I want to do this. And when I told them while I was in college, that's when they really kind of flipped out. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, what? You want to be what? How much did we pay for your school? <laughs> but it's all worked out and they, uh, they forgive me now. <laughs> and you've been doing magic for... Uh, Ever since then, really. Yeah. yeah, since I finished school. Again. All over the country. Uh, very impressive. And resume. I've got one locally coming up. Pretty, oh, you do? Uh, pretty soon here on Friday. Actually a local one. I don't get to do them that Plug often. away, Cranzo. Plug away. <laughs> did you like that? That was subtle, wasn't it? <laughs> It's uh, at Churchill's, downtown Flint. Yeah, Churchill's, good place. I'm trying to bring back some like vaudeville, you know, so it's going to be very much a variety show. It'll be comedians, myself, I do kind of a combination of a comedy and magic show mm -hmm. and some mind reading. And then uh, after that, there'll be live music. So right, we're going to tell them when in just a minute. Don't for let sure. us cool tease them a little bit. But first, you're amazing. You want to try something? Go ahead. I actually uh, have a Sharpie here, so I'll give you that first. Thank you very much. And then I. I, I wasn't really fully prepared, so one of the crew members actually had to give me a, a quarter. Oh, so right. I had to borrow a quarter. And what I'd like you to do is, would you just initial this for me? I'm going to just kind of hold it for you. With would you Sharpie. just put your initials right in the center there? And I'll hold this up after you've initialed it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of a mark for some okay. identifying purpose. I don't know if the camera can get that close, but we've got a, a quarter here, and I believe it's a 2012, if I can hold that so you can see it. Yeah, it's and on there. right okay. there is a JK. So here's <laughs> where it gets interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was upside down, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna start to heat up a little bit and you'll be able to uh, see this in a second if I can get this to work. All right. Something's happening. I see the see quarter it? bending. See if I can get it to go a little bit further. I don't know if the- I see the quarter bending. Camera's picking that up, it's, it's going Cranzo. further and further. It's just kind it's of It's a two hour morning show, Pally. Can you speed this up? I'll have this to you and you can check it out. You can touch <laughs> it's it. It's bent. You bent the quarter. How nothing, did that happen? Nothing extra in my hands. No, no chemicals. No chemicals. Escaping gases. Yes, my initials are right Souvenir there. for you. <laughs> just the way I put them. I am so amazed, Cranzo. I've been working on trying to do that with like telephone poles. Totally amazing. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'll give you the... Uh, no, oh, yeah. Where are you going to be? You said a Churchill's, Churchill's win. Churchill's uh, Friday, 10 o'clock is the time of the show. There'll be uh, five, four comedians, then myself. This Friday? Yep, this Friday, coming up. Yeah. Here we are Tuesday, coming up on Friday Just in a few night. days. Good for the family, no uh, raw jokes. More of, a, more of an adult show because it adult. is at a uh, drinking establishment and it is pretty late. So I would recommend leave the kids at home and come out and have a good time, get a babysitter, and uh, it'll be great. I'm hoping you're going to teach me how to do your hairstyle because that's what my hair looks like when I go to the beach. It's, it <laughs> helps to get up at 4.30. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I love that. All right, well join us next hour, right? Because we want more amazement. Okay, we'll do some more stuff. Yeah, I have a really cool thing planned. I'll try something. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know, we had the earlier segment about the zombies, kind of deathly and kind of. <laughs> yes. We're gonna bring it right back to life right now. With Crenzo, the that amazing was a great Crenzo. Crenzo. It's all for good community events, which is why we do these awesome segments on yes. magicians and uh, zombies. But today uh, we're talking to Nathan Cranzo, local guy. Local, yeah, and you have local. a show coming up at Church Hills right in Flint. Yep, nice on boots, Friday. man. Nice boots. Nice Thanks, boots, man. man. All right, what do we got here, Cranzo? Amaze me. I took a shower and everything for you guys. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I have uh, just happened to have a deck of cards. Imagine that, right? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go through here real quick, and we'll do six, nine. Uh, I think that was ten. Would you just verify for me? One, two, yes. three, four, One, five, two, six, three, seven, eight, four, nine, five, ten. Would you do the six, same thing? Seven, okay. eight, we'll nine, ten. Get rid of these. Okay. Are we good? There's and 10. Wait, wait for Joel. 10. Excellent. You can hold on to those. And well, I was going to have you do this, but this might be a little bit weird. Um, would you just take these and sit on them? Yeah. And I'll take those. And we'll. <laughs> I what knew that happened? would make Joel smile. What happened? And I'll. Uh, I usually. My cards are gone. I, I usually send the other one, but uh, I, I want to fike it up a little bit, so we'll have you. <laughs> 
Put the, sit on those as well. Oh, sit on them. Yeah. All right. It makes it more interesting. Now, you both have the, the piles underneath your uh, derrieres. Yes, we're going to try to make do. some cards transfer from butt to butt. This is kind of oh. like teleportation, right? Squeeze me. So the, uh, the <laughs> I don't know why that one's under there. <laughs> that was just an extra weird playing around. You guys earlier. have something set up? I don't know what it is. Just <laughs> well, just just Liz, to confirm. Go with just it. to confirm, Joel, you you haven't set anything up. We're not a, you're not a plant. Roll with it. Although no. if you were a plant, you'd be a ficus. Yeah, a ficus plant. Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. How, how about totally we just totally stick to the amazing. card magic? Concentrate, Joel. <laughs> Let right him right do here, the right jokes. here. <laughs> the, All right, go the ahead. First card. I'll uh, snap my fingers. It jumps from butt to butt. Did you feel anything? No. Okay, we'll do this again. Just push, Liz. <laughs> Not too much, though. <laughs> Don't we, we need to use the hard. cards later. We need to use these cards later. And then uh, we'll just do one more. Let's do one more. That should be, uh, I did it three times, so uh, you should have seven. Let's do yours first. We'll have you count yours. Whatever. If this worked, and would you verify you, you didn't feel anything touch no. you or anything? There was no. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Weird. Seven? <laughs> yeah. And there you was should ten. have and there was ten, 10 plus three is 13. Am I, am I counting myself? Don't two? make me get them. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Don't make me get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And nobody got hurt. That's so amazing. That is weird. Whenever <laughs> you're involved in this <laughs> transposition, so I, I can't explain it, but sometime later today, one of you will just start crying. Cranzo, you are amazing. Let's, <laughs> let's bring the information up on our screen. Uh, Cranzo Sorry. has a uh, show coming up here. It's uh, Friday, uh, Friday at Churchill's, a local place that everybody knows. Downtown much. Flint. Yeah, right downtown. Uh, a lot of different performers, uh, Nate Armbruster, uh, myself, Jerry Mardero is going to be the MC. We've also got local comedian Keith Brown and the local band Carl Art and the Mad Men. Sorry, that should be Churchill's, not Church Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Churchill's, you know. We just wanted know, to phonetically spell it Downtown for you Flint, morning. they know it's a, it's a great place. Churchill's. Yeah, it's a cool place just to come and have a drink and, you know, with, with all the combination of comedy, magic, and music, and alcohol. Something cool is bound to happen. Awesome. Midnight. Yeah. Thank you, Cranzo. Well, Maybe thanks we'll for having get me. one bit more big hurrah on you for you okay. this morning. Yes, we're here with Cranzo. The amazing we one. We are here. The amazing Jared is here. The amazing Jared is here. Liz. Be amaze her, Cranzo. Amaze well, us all. Well, I don't know if you saw this. Uh, this has been sitting here, and I even took a picture right when I first walked in the studio just so you guys could see it. It's yeah. been sitting on the table over there. This is a prediction, and we're going to see if we can kind of ins influence some what would it seem to be fair choices. So to start off, uh, Liz, if you don't mind, I've got some gum here, mm -hmm. and I'd, I'd like to give you a free pack of gum. Nothing against you. You smell beautiful. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Thank you. you can see we have different flavors. We've got uh, black ice, spearmint, wintergreen, peppermint, and juicy fruit. We need to eliminate four, so just grab any one you want. Just pick one up. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to just keep doing that. Just keep throwing them away. You can, can I have a piece? Sure. Right now? Well. <laughs> I like that. Keep throwing gums <laughs> away. Is that yep. the point? We're just for, we need to throw uh, three more away, so we have one left. Perfect. One left. That that will be uh, your. And here we'll hand this to you, Jared. And you get actually, just uh, hand me the bottom one there, and we'll flip through it here. Actually, just open it to a page, Joel. Any page. That's the page. And then what do we got there? 92, 93. Would you please open it up to page 92 and 93? 92 and, and that 93. is an almanac. And when you get to your page, Jared, just look for um, on that page the biggest city. And there's usually like a red dot. That okay. we'll give you it. You got, got it? it? Yeah, okay, perfect. Got it. And last but not least, I have taken uh, this, and this will be uh, <laughs> for uh, Liz. Just reach in there and grab one. I'm already amazed, and the trick has not happened not, yet. There's nothing amazing yet. <laughs> you want yet. me to pick this one? Any one you want. <laughs> and if, you, if you want, you can even exchange it. You can drop it and put another Ooh, one back in just, a in, trade. just in case. Yes, yeah, see? An so amazing so trade. She's so I don't now, even know what all these say. And, right. now, and now put okay. it in your pocket or just hide it somewhere, and we're going to take out some here just to show you. Would you open up one or two of those just to show what they are? Liz McFarland. And that one is another random one. And we've got so uh, Brett, Dickey, Reynolds, Brett Dickey, our news director. And uh, Bill so Harris. Harris. So I just went through and I wrote all, everybody down pretty yeah, much. Yeah. So, so you okay. got a random one? Anybody. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Three mm -hmm. random choices. There's no way it would seem that I could predict that. Yes. And, and the reason why this is going to be so amazing is because this has been sitting here this whole time. <laughs> oh so God. I'll have you kind of uh, help me pull this open. Liz. Liz. Will be. Wearing a black top. Wearing a black top. Hair and ponytail. Oh, like that's hard to guess. How I'm long is kidding. this? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep rolling out. Wow. We'll keep going. Holding, holding a pack of spearmint gum. Are you holding? What did you? What did you? Gum? What choose? What did you choose? We'll be hair in a pack of what? Ponytail of what? Spearmint gum. That's right. And holding a pack. Spearmint, spearmint gum. Ponytail, this is spearmint right. gum spearmint. right here. Brussels, Belgium. Brussels, Belgium, right here. Okay, keep going. Unbelievable. What oh, what say? is it? What is in your? Uh, what is in your hand there? We chose a we random We want person. more. We want more. We want Joel more. Fight! Fight. <laughs>
Can we get that on there? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? I love it. (laughs) (laughs) Three random things predicted perfectly, and you even get a free pack of gum. I wrote that. That's why I took a picture of it. As soon as I came to the studio, I set it down and took a picture of it. The amazing. No, when did you write this? Okay, I wrote that last night. That is so weird. No way. I did you think about what you were going to wear and then change your mind? I was going to wear my hair down today, but I was running late. Oh, you changed your mind. I only had like five minutes to it get ready. It was the amazing Crenzo. <laughs> it, was a, it was a wear hair down day. Was yeah. it? Cranzified. Weird. No. Cranzified. Thanks for wearing Cranzo, your hair that's good stuff, man. Thank that you. Was, oh, my that pleasure. That's impressive. your best trick of the day. Uh, All right, you day. can see Cranzo at Churchill's uh, downtown Flint. Friday oh. night. Friday, 10 o'clock, five bucks a ticket. Head mm-hmm. down there. I know I'll be there. Come see me. Here. We'll have some fun. <laughs> we'll be right back. Tom